So as you can see here, we're on um, the seller part of Fiverr and we're on the gigs tab here. And uh, what you've got is all your active gigs. It gives you all the data, as you can see here, you've got impressions. Uh, my best seller here, which, which has got, um, of the last 30 days, 24,000 impressions, uh, 985 clicks and 71 orders, um, versus I've got a second variation that um, also ranks quite well in the rankings on Fiverr. Uh, 12k impressions and off the back of that I've had 16 orders so it's just a great way to boost some of my orders coming through as well um, so they're my most popular gigs so all you have to do is click create gig and then this is the very first page um, of creating a brand new gig so let's um, stick to the SEO example as we've gone through um, some of the SEO keywords already so we'll use that as a case study so as you can see here every gig on Fiverr starts with the words I will dot 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 and it's up to you to fill in whatever that is so the maximum that we can put in here is 80 characters so it has to be short has to be sharp and has to be snappy so for example you could put i will build 100 if this was your service um seo back actually i'm going to do seo white hat backlinks for your website so nice and simple all i've done is put the keyword SEO white hat backlinks into the titles. We've found that from the search already. Um, this says just perfect. It's a little bit short of the max, but you don't want it to be too long. People have a short attention span, and when you've got tons and tons and tons of listings um, on each search, you don't want to be making your buyers uh, read too much. Select the category. So this time it's actually auto suggested it. So I'm going to go digital marketing SEO. And then service type. So they've actually five have created subcategories of this SEO um, category itself. So this is going to be off page SEO and this is backlink building. Um, then Fiverr allows you to enter five industries that you focus on. Now this bit is optional and it's part of the gig metadata. Supposedly it helps. I actually don't believe that myself, but um, if you want to put some industries on there, you can, otherwise you don't have to. You can also select different languages as well. So if you're copywriting, for example, this would be a really, really useful feature on this one. And then here, this is probably the second most important part of the page. So you've got the title and we've put the keywords in here. Now you can have up to five tags and these are really, really good from a search perspective. So off the previous class we've already looked at, we know some of the keywords are um, SEO, SEO backlinks, SEO service was another one, have I spelled that right, service. And actually um, what Fiverr does here, you can see is that it suggests some of these keywords to you as well. So they make it so easy to optimize it. So I'm gonna go for, um, let's type in the word backlink and see what comes up. Authority backlinks and white hat backlinks. So they are my five tags. When people search along Fiverr, these are going to have a huge influence in what comes up. It doesn't have to be an exact match, but it's definitely going to help in terms of loosely or broadly matching the keywords to what people are searching. So then we'll hit save and continue. So now we're on the second part of creating the gig. Now, this is what I was talking about earlier. There's two ways to price it. So you can either have a three tier pricing strategy, or you can just go to a simple one price fits all. Um, for the purpose of the video and for the Skillshare class, I'm just going to go for the basic one price. If you want to do three, which is a, a, stand, a basic standard and premium, by all means, you can do that. So I'm going to say here, name of the package, 100 backlinks, describe the details. So high powered, um, friendly white hat backlinks for your website. Delivery time. Now this is really important. So you don't want to create a delivery time that's too long. There's definitely a sense of urgency on Fiverr and a fast turnaround is always a really good thing. Um, what you don't want to do is make it too short so that you can't complete the orders in time because that will affect your order completion rate that we mentioned in the levels class. So you've got to make sure that you deliver more than 90% of your orders on time. And actually that's quite an easy thing to do. I'm always at 100%. Um, I've actually not slipped below 100% yet, which is fine. The moment you deliver it, even if people ask for revisions or something like that, then that doesn't count towards the delivery time. So it's just for you to deliver the first iteration of whatever it is you're selling. So for the purpose of this, I'm going to put four days for SEO to build the backlinks, to generate the report, and then to send that to 
um, the buyer and market is complete. This is an off-page strategy. I'm not going to be doing any backlink analysis uh, within this. There's no foreign marketing. Uh, and I'm also not going to be doing any competitor backlink analysis included in the price. So here, for example, you can choose any price you want up to, let's have a look here, 995, which is actually quite a lot for a gig. Um, let's say on this one, I'm going to sell this service for $20. Okay, so now we go down to a really, really important part of um, upselling a gig. And I mentioned this earlier in the Skillshare class. And one way to generate extra money on Fiverr is pricing your gig actually slightly lower than the market but then offering really really useful upsells or extras as they call it on Fiverr to your buyers and as the buyer goes through they look at the service and they go oh this is fantastic and then as they go through the sales funnel to to buy the gig they then see some really high value useful extras that they can use as well and they then add this onto the gig and that's how you start selling for example if you if the base price is $20 you could easily upsell to make that 40, 50, 60 dollars depending what extras you put in there. So some examples here, for example, um, you could do extra fast delivery and say I'm going to turn this around in two days and I'm going to charge an extra ten dollars to do that, for example. I'm also going to do some competitive backlink, backlink analysis for ten dollars and no extra time. Another one might be um, an extra hundred backlinks. <clears throat> Um, I will build an additional 100 backlinks for your website. And you could do that for an extra $20 or maybe put a small discount on this at $15 um, and an additional two days, for example. I'm just making this up as I go along. And um, the key here really is just trying to add useful, valuable services to the buyer. And it's something they would want to buy. Here, for example, you uh, might also include um, extra .edu links. So .edu links are quite powerful in the SEO world. Um, I will build five .edu links if that's what you was going to do for an additional, let's say this is a premium service and it was $30 and an additional two days. Obviously I'm making all of this up, but it's the idea of adding additional value to your base gig. So the base gig attracts the, the customer in, but this here is where you start to engage and start to convert them as well. 